With MindMeister, you can collaborate on mind maps and improve communication between team members. One key resource in any organization is knowledge. It allows its members to function intelligently and be effective in their work. This tutorial is divided into three steps and will show you an easy and intuitive way to manage the knowledge of your organization. In this first video, we will discuss how to identify a knowledge asset and how to share it with MindMeister. To make the tutorial a bit more entertaining, let's imagine we're dealing with an architectural firm called Bold Studio. The company has a total of 30 employees between two offices, one in San Francisco and one in London. Bold Studio is doing a lot of commercial efforts to gain new projects and four of their senior architects, two from San Francisco and two from London, spend a considerable amount of time visiting clients, presenting the virtues of their company, preparing commercial proposals and answering questions. Let's look at the tools and files they use to do this work. The three most commonly used files are a presentation of the company, the key buildings designed by Bold Studio, and a template of the commercial proposal. Each one of these three examples is a knowledge asset. A knowledge asset is nothing more than a specific document that can be shared and used to carry out a task. In this example, the company presentation is a knowledge asset because it can be shared and it can be used to carry out an action. As a company, we can use a knowledge platform to capture and share those assets. A knowledge platform is an environment where members of an organization can share and find a variety of knowledge assets. MindMeister is an excellent knowledge platform because it provides a graphic and intuitive navigation as well as powerful collaboration tools. MindMeister functions pretty much like a collective brain. People with access to the map can navigate, explore, and discover useful knowledge assets. Now let's look at how to get started with the knowledge platform at Bold Studio. We first create a new mind map and call it Sales. Here is where we'll add all the knowledge assets related to sales. The first asset we add is Company Presentation for Clients, which we can create by clicking the plus symbol or by hitting Insert on the keyboard. This way, our first topic in the mind map is created, and we can go ahead and call it Company Presentation for Clients. Once the topic is there, we only have to upload the file to the topic. By doing so, we make it available to anyone with access to the mind map sales. There. We've just shared our first knowledge asset. Now let's look at these other assets the company already has, the one-page summaries of key projects. For ease, they decide to call them key project summaries. As with the company presentation, we can now create a new topic and call it key project summaries and then upload the file to the topic. We have just shared our second knowledge asset. The final asset is the commercial proposal. In this case, the four senior architects cannot agree on what the template should be, mainly because commercial proposals are a bit different in the UK and in the US. They decide to work on the template for the next meeting, but nevertheless, they can still create a place for them in the map. In this case, we can create a new topic called commercial proposal, even if we don't have anything to upload yet. This is still useful as everyone in the company will know that a commercial proposal will come, but it's not yet ready. Also, since we already know the commercial proposals are different in both countries, we can already create two children topics to show that. If you work with G Suite, Office 365, or any other cloud system, you can add links to the knowledge assets instead of uploading the files to the map. You can add a link to any asset by pasting the URL to the topic or by using the link button in the sidebar. By doing so, you will allow your colleagues to contribute and improve the assets. Let's go back to our example. Let's assume that Bold Studio works with G Suite and the company presentation for clients is a Google Slides file. First, copy the URL of the Google Slides file. Then select the relevant topic in the map. Then go to Link and paste the URL. We can do exactly the same with the key project summaries and add it to the map. Let's take a look at a situation that shows how valuable a knowledge platform might be. Let's think of Christine who works at Bolt Studio and is the lead architect for a project in New York. She's having a meeting with the developer and is showing them the status of the design. In the room, there are a number of senior executives and they are impressed with the work done. During the meeting, one of the executives decides to talk to Christine about this other potential project, a new office building in Chicago, and tells her that they would like to consider Bold Studio for the job. Christine replies that Bold Studio would be delighted to be the architect for this other project and they agree to have a quick word when the meeting is over. After the meeting, Christine tells the executive that she would like to give him a short presentation about the company and some relevant projects. At this moment, Christine only has a few minutes to bring up the company presentation and needs to access this collective intelligence, which is at her fingertips thanks to the knowledge map. Let's look at this process. For this example, we are using a more developed knowledge map, 
as it will give you a more realistic experience, sample navigation, and using the assets. When Christine accesses the knowledge map of Bold Studio, she can quickly see what is available to her. At first glance, she realizes that there is a company presentation for clients, as well as a deck of key projects. She opens both assets and makes a local copy. From the key projects deck, she decides to use only two of the projects, the one that is an office building and the one that is a cultural building in Chicago. Initially, she was looking for the company presentation and some relevant projects, but she also discovers two other useful assets, the CV of the principal architect in charge of office buildings and the company brochure, which she will email to the client straight away. This is a key feature of MindMaps that no other knowledge platform can easily provide, finding things you didn't know existed. In a matter of a few minutes, Christine has been able to put together a presentation that is relevant to the new business opportunity she has encountered, and the client seems very impressed. This is one of the many examples where quick and intuitive access to the company knowledge can be extremely valuable. All right. In this first tutorial, we have learned what a knowledge asset is and how to capture them in a mind map. We have also seen how to navigate and access those assets and how useful it was for Christine. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to connect different knowledge maps and how to build a great navigation system.